Hello everyone, welcome to the Angular Story series. In this episode, you will learn about the story behind the moment you launch your serve command to start the app and the moment the app is displayed on your browser. By the end of this video, you will be more comfortable with Angular apps as you will know how all files work together to serve the application. We will walk through three main points the app goes through when starting it. The first one is what I call the entry point where the app environment gets initialized and configured. The second is the bootstrapping step that every Angular app goes through. And the third, the app's home or content on the browser. This point is essential to any Angular application and it uses a configuration file we already talked about in the last episode. It's the Angular JSON file. This file is like your app's DNA based on which your workspace will be configured. It contains things like the path to the assets folder, the pre-built theme you will be using in the app, the path to the app's global style file, the optimization parameters, the click options to customize Angular click configuration, schematics for generating templates and the code, and much more. I won't go into details about this file in this episode, but let me know if you want me to create a video dedicated to this file. Going back to our file, there is a line that configures the app's entry point, which is the main.js in the build section. Without this file, your app won't start. Since we have created the app with the Angular CLI, everything is set and generated for us. The main.ts is our app's door, giving it a look. The file's job is to create a browser environment for your application, thanks to the Angular Platform Browser Dynamic API. This is where the app gets bootstrapped. Wondering what bootstrapping the app is? Every Angular application has at least one Angular module. The root model that you bootstrap to launch the application is called a bootstrapping model. Therefore, bootstrapping is a mechanism or a technique for loading and launching an Angular application. It's when we load the component or the model that will be rendered. We pass in the app model. This model contains all what it needs to run properly, such as components, services, etc. Let's give it a look. We can see right away which component is getting bootstrapped in the bootstrap array, the app component. I'll be explaining Angular components in the upcoming videos, but to give you a global view of it, an Angular component is composed of the class where the logic of the component is, the HTML or template of the component, and the style of the component. Each component has a unique identifier and that's the selector. Whenever we want to use and render a component, we use its selector. From here, the app component gets loaded and launched we can now see the app on the browser. There is an important question here. How is it possible that the browser understands the app component code and how it is rendered? The browser only talks HTML, CSS and JavaScript. In every website there is an HTML index file that gets rendered at the starting of an app. To understand what's happening here, let's go back to our angular.json file. As we can see, the index is already set and it's on the source folder. Let's give it a look. It's an ordinary index.html file, except one detail, a custom tag that doesn't belong to the HTML world, the app root tag. Does it sound familiar to you? 
Well, yes, that's the selector of our app component. Our index body gets populated with the app root component content. The browser will display therefore the content of your app component. Of course, at this point, the compiler had already generated a browser-friendly app component code with only gshtml and CSS. An important thing to know here is that we don't load each time the index.html file. Only the content of the app component changes here. And that's what we call a single page application. And it's also what creates a great user experience. No page reloading each time there is a change. Okay. I know this may be too much information to digest, so let's sum up the whole story. Angular app gets initialized and configured in the angular.json file. It's like the app DNA. In this file, the entry is set to the main.js file. This file's job is to create a browser environment and bootstrap the app model. From there, we learned that bootstrapping an app is nothing more than a technique of loading and launching an Angular model thanks to the Angular Platform Browser Dynamic API. The bootstrapped model, called App Model, specifies what component to bootstrap or to load. That was the app component. This component is identified by its selector, which we found inside the index HTML's body. The compiler gathers the component class, template, and CSS files and generates an output that is friendly to the browser. The output replaces the app root tag we found inside the index HTML. The page doesn't load each time, Angular is a single page application and only the HTML content or body gets updated. Our episode ends here, thank you so much for being here and see you in the next episode of Angular Stories, till then keep learning and stay tuned. If you like the video, please subscribe to the Web Stories channel, hit like and enable notifications to get notified whenever an episode is out.